All right, set the scene there. Tell tell everybody exactly how this plays out on Sunday at five Eastern. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, I, I I I said this on the air last night, Dan. Somebody asked me uh, in an interview, well, what would be the ideal final pairing on Sunday? And I said right away, Tiger and Phil. And didn't think about it. And this was on Monday before I even knew they were going to play a practice round together yesterday. That was kind of cool to see. But then I started thinking there are a dozen players I could give you right now. And if we saw any two of those 12 dueling down the stretch, it would be really fun. And that speaks to the depth of the quality of the field here. I, you know, they usually say, and Jack Nicholas says this all the time, you can eliminate about half the field, maybe 60% of the field uh, going into Masters Week. But there are 12 or 13 guys. If you see them in the last group, that would be a heck of a show. Um, do I think it'll be Tiger? My gut is no. I'm kind of leaning towards Rory, and sometimes you're, you're kind of clouded by time spent with somebody. But I, I just think his game and his mind is in a really good place for that. And I think Justin Thomas and Jordan Spieth fit this place so well. So those, if you gave me those three, I'll take those three and let you take everybody else. When you were talking to Tiger yesterday, and you've been around Tiger, and you mentioned this last night, uh, you know, that he, he's in, he seems to enjoy it. He was surprised at people following him around for a practice round and the number of people there. What, what have you seen personality-wise that's different with Tiger? Uh, I think the blinders are not as narrow. I think he's taking in more of what's around him and appreciating health, life, uh, where he is and the position he has in golf. And I think part of that, Dan, was also this task force that they set up when the U.S. kept struggling with the Ryder Cup and the President's Cup and most of the Ryder Cup. And they brought together Jim Furyk and Davis Love and Tiger and Phil among the group of guys to try to figure out how the U.S. could have a run like the European side had. And through all of that, a couple of things, the Phil and Tiger relationship grew. Uh, but I think secondly, Tiger got to see firsthand the whole generation of players who grew up wanting to be like Tiger. And seeing that, I think, has given him more of an appreciation for the guys. And I think he's more connected with the other peers on tour right now than he was during the best of his days. So I see, in general, a broader appreciation for everything around him uh, as he comes back and plays you know, some really respectable golf with three top 12s in the starts in Florida leading up to the Masters. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.